In his speech of the nation last night, President Obama said the entire world is watching this debt ceiling debate and added it looks as though the whole world uh, is tweeting about it, too, if you do a little uh, perusing of Twitter. CBS News national correspondent Jim Axelrod reports on the growing outrage now over this stalemate in Washington. So this past Saturday night, Jeff it's Jarvis night. had just about what enough. I'm watching the evening news. I'm seeing the latest on the debt crisis. I'm getting mad. I go back to Twitter. A journalism so professor with 75,000 Twitter followers, Jarvis put out a message in plain, though off color, English. So I said, hey, Washington, it's our economy and our money, so f you. Like Howard Beale, the angry anchorman from the 1976 movie Network. I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. Jarvis touched a nerve of outrage. People took the tweet and ran with their own specifics. F you, Washington, for having the compromising skills of a three-year-old or for enslaving all future generations with the largest debt in human history. There were 64,000 tweets on Monday alone. One tweeter, Jeff Howe, said there was a large pile of dry tinder and that all I did was throw a match on it. And people were mad about Washington. They're mad about this current so-called crisis, and they just wanted to get it off their chest. In the latest CBS News poll, 79% of Americans are angry or dissatisfied with Washington. More blame Republicans than the president, um, and it's outrage yeah, spreading beyond U.S. borders. The biggest threat to the world financial system comes from a few right-wing nutters in the American Congress. Modern technology has clearly made it easier than ever for people to express themselves. And the beauty of this is that you can hear the voice of the country not mediated by media or by government or anybody else, real people were talking and saying what they wished government would do that it's not doing. Even if you still have to read all about it. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York. And as for what is at stake here, one bipartisan think tank projects the Treasury will collect $172 billion in revenue in August, which is far short of the $306 billion in payments the government is scheduled to make in August.